This is exercise number five from uh, chapter 10. And we have, uh, here we have a company where we're going to be looking at the net present value method for an annuity. An annuity is a series of equal payments. By definition, an annuity must be equal payments. Okay, so in this case, it says we're going to receive a uh, dollar amount that's going to be the same every year. It says ET. ENT Excavation Company is planning an investment of $279,000 for a bulldozer. Bulldozers are expected to operate 1,000 hours per year for seven years. Customers will be charged $135 for the bulldozer work. The bulldozer operator cost is $32 per hour in wages and benefits. The bulldozer are expected to require annual maintenance costing $10,000. The bulldozer uses fuel that is expected to cost $42 per hour during the operation. So, and then they give us a, a present value of an annuity table. But the first thing we need to determine is the equal annual net cash flows from the operating the bulldozer. So, here we can go hours of operation, and it said 1,000 hours. And I'm going to multiply that times my revenue per hour and I think that was 135 but we'll check it yes 135 that'll give me my revenue per year so that's going to be 135 and three zeros behind it that's 135,000 my cash outflows I'm going to have the hours of operation again that's 1,000 I'm going to subtract my fuel cost per hour. And the fuel cost per hour was uh, $42. Our operate cost is $32. So we'll put those two numbers in there. First, we'll put in the fuel cost of $42. And then we're going to need our labor cost of $32. And we can figure out our total fuel and labor cost which is 72 or 74 sorry and my total cost then for the year would be 74,000 nice easy numbers for me here now we have our maintenance cost per year on the dozer which is $10,000 so I can plug that in And that will give us our annual net cash flow, which is 135,000 minus the 74,000 minus the 10,000. That gives me 51,000 per year. So I'm going to have net cash flows of $51,000 per year. Now, in Part B, it says determine the net present value of the investment, assuming the desired rate of return is 6%, using the present value of an annuity of a dollar table above. We're going to round it to the nearest dollar. If required, use minus uh, sign to indicate a negative net present value. The present value of the annual cash flows. I'm going to take the 51000 I need to go up to the uh, table and I'm going to use the 6% column. It said 7 years, so I'll go 6, down here at 7. So the number I'm going to use is 5.582. So my net present value then is 284000 six hundred and eighty two dollars just check my work all right now they're asking me for the amount that we invested that's $279,000. So I can plug that number in. 
and the net present value of course would be the difference and that looks like it's going to be five thousand eight hundred and eighty two dollars so I'm just subtracting and finding the difference check my work Oops, yes, that should be $5,682. That's what I get for doing it in my head. Let's double check it. Here we go. So $5,682 is my net present value. Should E&T uh, invest in the bulldozer based on this analysis? Sure. Yeah, I would, I would say yes. And um, then it says explain why. Well, the reason being is we have a positive net cash flow. We're actually going to be uh, making money on this uh, particular one. We get all our money back plus some extra, taking into consideration the actual uh, present value. This next portion, D, determine the net operating hours such that the present value of the cash flows equals the amount to be invested around your interim calculation and final to the nearest whole hour. Alright, so what we have to do is we have to take into consideration some of the knowledge from a previous chapter and that is what's our contribution margin. So we're going to look at our revenue minus our variable costs to figure out what our contribution margin is. Let's go back up here we have 135,000 and 74,000 that's our variable costs and revenue, finding the difference, and we can do this on an hourly basis. We can take the $135 minus 74, and that's going to be $61. Better double check that though. So if I take 135 minus 74, that's $61. So my Variable costs are going to be $61. So let me go over here and we'll do some calculations. So I'm going to take the $71, I'm sorry, the $135 minus the $74, that equals $61. That's my contribution margin. That's my contribution margin. Now, if I take my contribution margin, so if I look at $61 now uh, each year, I have to take that number and divide it by the um, present value of that table. So let's go back to the table. I think the number was 5.582. Now that we have the $61 contribution margin, I can make that calculation. I'll take the $61. I'm going to divide that by that uh, annuity amount from the table, which was 5.582. And I'll show you where I got that again. That's this number right here, 7 years at 6%. So I'm going to divide it by that same number, and that equals 10.927 da 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 da. Well, it says to round that, so if I round that, I'm going to round it to 11 hours. So that's how many hours I can reduce my work by. Remember, I was working um, 1,000 hours minus 11 equals. 989 hours, so that would be the answer. So you can follow this calculation to find the correct answer there, and 989 is correct.